Guys, welcome back to our video with Tony's Phone Collection. Today we're going to be changing the front glass bezel from this phone to this one. As you see, this one's just got a little crack in it, but it works perfectly fine. This one is in pretty rough shape and the screen doesn't really uh, work. I can see the phone's working, but the uh, display isn't, so I'm going to assume that it's got a bad flex cable or something. So we're going to just take the front glass lens off and then we're probably going to drop test this one later on. But I at least wanted to show you guys how to do this because these phones are pretty easy to do, I would say. You're going to get a plastic pry tool. And then uh, you're going to start it on this plastic bezel, this little plastic piece right here. Well, I just kind of push up on it. And it's glued down and also clipped into place. So once it starts coming up, it pretty much just the glue that holds it in. As you can see. Right, once you get that off, you're going to have, see you can do it two ways. If you have a replacement glass, you can actually detach this glass from this metal frame. But since we're just going to swap this, we're just going to unbolt these four bolts and pull this whole faceplate off and then swap it on the other one. So you will need to grab a Torx screwdriver. Hopefully I have one. There we go. And you remove, remove these four screws. And they're small screws too, so they really don't take much to come out. Once you got that off, they're kind of start, start up here at the top, and you see. And then it's pretty much that easy. There's your front glass. And we'll start in the other one. Now this is the uh, singular one I just received not that long ago. It works just fine. I'm about to do an update video on them as well. So that'll be coming out pretty soon. I'm about to work on it. Just figured I'd go and get this video out too. So there's our front bezel. One of our four screws. That's the best I'll come right off, just like that. If you want, you could wipe down your display. Make sure you ain't got no dirt between your LCD. Um, mine looks pretty good. The only piece I'm going to clean up is down here, this little grill right here. So let me grab some alcohol and one of my microfiber rags. And I'll just clean that up real quick while we're here. It's a lot easier to get to it now than it is later. Just clean it all up. You used to be able to buy the glass pieces, but now that these phones are sold, it's kind of hard to get pieces for them. So, the best bet is if you have a cracked one and you're looking for a replacement screen, is to a replacement glass is to buy a whole nother phone for parts that has a good uh, front display. The K1 and the K1Ms are different. Um, the K1 doesn't have the touch sensitive button controls on the front where the K1M does. There's the K1M, this is a CDMA. The K1M is CDMA and the regular K1 is just a GSM. I forgot my screwdriver is not magnetic. So we'll go ahead and install these four screws back in. So 
So this isn't a hard process at all. It's pretty easy. The biggest part is don't break this plastic piece when you're working on taking it off. So there's two little nubs down here at the bottom that you'll latch into the bottom. And you'll just go around. Pushing the glue back down and, and letting it reseal itself. The glue stays pretty sticky considering how old it is, so. I'm going to put a SIM card in here. I'll try it out. I'm going to take a look at this one, see why this one's having problems. Flex cable doesn't look bad necessarily. Now I'm pretty sure this is just another unlocked K1M, which I already have one that's in really good shape. So here's my other one. So I don't really need this one at all. Um, that's why I'm going to go ahead and drop test it between the flex cable, the crack screen now, um, and it's in pretty, I would say, rough shape. Doesn't have a back cover for the battery or anything like that. But if there's any good parts off of it before I drop test it, I'll go and take off. So I just seen on mine that little plastic ring that goes around the display it looks a little rough on mine. So this one's in better shape, we'll put it on mine. See how mine's all really scratched up right here? This one doesn't have that. So, I see front's working, it's not cracked no more either. Fully functional. So we're gonna take this. And we'll swap this out. So I'm gonna pull our all the adhesive off because this plastic piece already has it on here. You can see it's starting to come off right there. That's pretty dirty though. Alright, so let me clean up this bezel really. You can see all the dirt on the edge of that. I'm gonna push this glue back down too. So let me clean this up real quick and then we'll put it back on. Like I said, just take alcohol and a rag. I use probably the dirtiest rag I have to do this because uh, they get used more than once for this. And just clean up the uh, little lip where it goes around the display. Make it nice and clean. And then you can also take up and see all the dirt that's on the edge of the glass. Take and clean all that off too. So I can get you a good photo. There's all the dirt. Basically no dirt now. Alright. Now we can take this bezel. Start at the bottom and then push all the way up. And there we go. This one doesn't have a battery in it, I can tell. But, I'm going to grab the battery out of this one, if it'll fit. I'm pretty sure they're the same size. Oh, it's different. But, it works though. So. There you go. And it looks like this bottom piece, this little chin, has um, some pretty heavy scratches on it. I think this one's actually a little bit shinier though. Although it's got the scratch, it looks a little bit shinier, so... We'll go ahead and put this bezel on this one. And this will be our drop test phone because I haven't dropped a, a Crazer yet. So, well, there you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. That's how you replace the uh, front glass panel the easy way. On these. I will try to find a glass panel and I'll show you how to replace the glass the other way with taking the whole glass off and then keeping the frame and everything. But for now, that should do it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. 
and stay tuned for the next one.